Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm playing with foiling and uh, I will be creating a card that is perfect for any occasion. I will be using a sentiment from the latest foiling kit by Spellbinders. It includes five uh, plates that can be used for birthdays, for thank you cards and even for spring ones. And to embellish my card I'm going to create flowers. I will be using this daisy set by Spellbinders. It includes plates for foiling for the flowers and the leaves as well as the dies to cut them out. For this design that I'm working with today you can use any stamp or any flower die that you have at home to create something similar. It is a really easy to recreate design and uh, it works for any occasion. However, you will see that even with such an easy and uh, clean and simple design, having that foiling on the elements gives that extra touch and makes the card even more special. I decided to go with gold foil for all the elements and I'm working on a white cardstock securing down that border along with the sentiment on top. With one passing I'm going to foil the sentiment with the border along with a few leaves. And if you notice the sentiment inside that uh, frame is a little bit offset, off center, and that's because I want to have the bottom corner on the left kind of empty so that I can add the flower embellishments there. And once my machine stops blinking, I'm going to run the platform through my die cutting machine. I'm going to do that twice and then I can remove everything. I will go ahead and foil even more flowers for my composition so that I can stack one on top of the other to make them look fluffier. Since I die cut everything from white cardstock, I am going to add some uh, color with blending, ink blending. I will go with Distress Oxides here and I started with Kitsch Flamingo which is the lighter color for my flowers. I'm using a finger dabber to apply the ink but any blending tool would work for that. And uh, you can go and cut out these uh, flowers and foil them from uh, pattern paper if you like or even from colored cardstock. I decided to ink them up myself. For the center of the flowers I went with a slightly darker color that's picked raspberry. And to apply the ink I'm using one of those super tiny brushes for uh, blending that uh, are perfect for this job since I have perfect control of where I'm applying the ink. When you apply Distress Oxide on top of those die cut and foiled pieces you will see that Distress Oxide is going to stay on top of the foiling. It's going to make it dull and cover it up. However, fear not, the foiling kind of resists the ink so with a clean cloth I will go over and wipe them out and you will get all that shine from the foiling back. I will repeat the same process of inking with Distress Oxides on the leaves. I have three leaves I have foiled and cut out there. And I'm starting with Twisted Citron for the lightest color. And then I will add some shadow at the base of the leaves using Mode Lone. The daisies have three sizes, so I'm going to use for one flower three of the sizes, large, medium and small, to fluff it up. I'm going to make a second flower with just the middle and the smaller one, and the third flower which is going to go at the bottom. I'm going to keep it quite flat with just one layer. So I'm going to use one of those tools that is really helpful to add some dimension on the flowers and I will repeat the same process on all of them. So I'm working at the back, adding some curve on the petals and then turning it at the front and just pressing at the center. So here for the first flower I'm adding a, a dot of glue at the center and stacking three layers of petals one on top of the other, offsetting the petals so that it looks fluffier. And that's the first flower, now for the second one just two layers, middle and small one. Again I'm going to stack one on top of the other with a dot of glue at the center. Having the flowers foiled and dimensional, they catch the light and uh, they make it uh, look really pretty and gorgeous. If you have to put this card inside an envelope, then they are going to flatten up. So this is a card that I would probably add inside a bigger box with a present for example, or I would hold it out. I am adding a bit of a curve, a bit of dimension on the leaves as well, this time at the front. 
And here is a close-up look on how gorgeous these flowers and the leaf look with that foiling, and you will see some close-up photos at the end of the video as well. And let's put the card together. I did use a rectangle die to cut out that panel. The one layer flower is going at the bottom. And then it's just a matter of arranging the other two flowers on top of that. I did go with three flowers and three leaves just because we all love odd numbers. At the center of the flowers I am going to add some gems. And uh, you can go with uh, pearls at the center as well, they would look lovely. I decided to stick this panel on top of a pink panel and I did use foam tape at the back so this is quite dimensional and then all I have to do is to stick that on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Here are some close-up photos on the card where you can see that I did add a few extra gems here and there. A clean and simple looking card that brings spring closer. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired don't forget, just like always, you will find links to everything I used down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. Thank you all for joining me today, and I hope you all have a lovely day.